It's been tough finding activities to do with the kids during the pandemic, so parents, listen up. Yes, Melissa Cole visited the Lyman Allen Art Museum in New London, and she checked out the Sweet Dreams exhibition, which is full of larger-than-life lollipops and birthday cake statues. Yeah, the whole family's going to love it, and there's plenty of room for social distancing. Take a look. Candies, cakes, and donuts, oh my. Sweets have taken over New London's Lyman Allen Art Museum. I wanted to do an exhibition, uh, something very happy, very colorful, very joyful because of the pandemic and the times we're in and the stress people are under. So I wanted a special place for people to come with family. Artist Peter Anton of Fairfield baked, I mean, created all of this. When I walk in, I just can't believe how real everything looks. How do you get it to look so edible? Oh, thank you. I use several kinds of resins and uh, I play with temperature and I manipulate the materials with temperature and different dyes and colors. Anton works in his home studio, spending hours a day sculpting, designing, painting. There are over 40 pieces in this Sweet Dreams collection. That took about a year and a half because some of the pieces take several months to do. This looks like the most delicious chocolate cake I've ever seen. Thanks, yes. This is called So Chocolate because chocolate evokes such feelings and passion in people, so I thought it would be exciting to have a chocolate piece here. So you actually make a chocolate cake and go by that yes. as your model? Yes, I make a real chocolate cake, and I also buy some in the store so I can see the different, because frostings and textures are always, and colors are always different from home-baked to store-bought. Look at this box of donuts. The Fruity Pebbles look so lifelike. So when I work in the studio, I'll have maybe two dozen donuts surrounding me in the studio, and I bite some of them, I peel them apart, I take the frosting off, I'm looking at them with a magnifying glass. So do you eat all the things that you make here too? Usually, people come over and have to help themselves <laughs> yeah. when I'm in the studio. You must have a lot of sweets at yeah. your house. Yes, definitely, always. One of the favorites is this giant box of chocolates with even some missing or half eaten and put back. Sound familiar? Conversation hearts are also on display, a big slice of pecan pie, and some well-known ice cream truck delights. The museum's communication director, Becca Dawson, says it's the perfect family event. This exhibition is in three galleries here at the museum. Each gallery has a capacity limit and directional arrows that help you or help guide you through your visit here. So it is a very safe, open place for families to come visit. We had a family drive up from Austin, Texas to see the show. Wow. And yeah, it was crazy. You have until October 18th to see it all in person, but just don't come hungry. They do try to touch some of the pieces because they think it's real, so they go up to see if they can swipe the frosting yeah. and touch the ice cream. You'll have to resist the temptation. Isn't that remarkable? And that's so cool. It looks a lot better than the stuff that we try and make. <laughs> <laughs> And it's larger than life with plenty to go around. <laughs> the Sweet Dreams exhibition runs until October 18th. You just go to LymanAllen.org. I would love to take my kids to that. You know, it's a great way to get kids into art and something creative because they all identify with candy. Well, and the thing is, they hear museum and they go, mm, mm. you know, but this is something really cool and they would love to see this. Stuff and down in London, after that, you can go, you know, maybe take a walk along the shoreline.